BrainWise presents Grade 4, Science Quiz B, Part 2 Welcome, science adventurers! Get ready for a quiz that will take you on a journey through the wonders of science. Let the fun begin! Number 1 Which of the following has a definite shape and volume? Again, which of the following has a definite shape and volume? The choices are A. Water B. Air C. Ice D. Steam The correct answer is See all ice. Number 2. What is the process called when a gas turns into a liquid? Again, what is the process called when a gas turns into a liquid? The choices are A. Melting B. Freezing C. Boiling D. Condensation The correct answer is D. Condensation Number 3 In which state of matter are the molecules packed tightly together? Again, in which state of matter are the molecules packed tightly together? The choices are A. Solid B. Liquid C. Gas D. All of the above The correct answer is A. Solid Number 4 Which of these is not a property of a gas? Again, which of these is not a property of a gas? The choices are A. It has a definite shape B. It fills its container C. It can be compressed D. It has no definite volume The correct answer is A. It has a definite shape. Number 5. How does heat travel from the sun to the earth? Again, how does heat travel from the sun to the earth? The choices are A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation D. Evaporation The correct answer is C. Radiation Number 6. Which material is a good conductor of heat? Again, which material is a good conductor of heat? The choices are A. Wood B. Plastic C. Metal D. Cloth The correct answer is C. Metal You're on fire! You've tackled some tough questions already! Now, let's keep the momentum going! Get ready for the next set of brain teasers! Number 7 Which of these is an example of convection? Again, which of these is an example of convection? The choices are A. Sun warming your skin B. Hot air rising from a radiator. C. Touching a hot pan. D. Ice melting in your hand. The correct answer is B. Hot air rising from a radiator. Number 8. Which of these is a poor conductor of heat and insulator? Again, which of these is a poor conductor of heat and insulator? The choices are A. Copper B. Aluminum C. Iron D. Wood The correct answer is D. Wood Number 9 
What is the primary way heat is transferred in a solid? Again, what is the primary way heat is transferred in a solid? The choices are A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation D. Evaporation The correct answer is A. Conduction Number 10 Which energy source comes from the sun? Again, which energy source comes from the sun? The choices are A. Geothermal energy B. Wind energy C. Solar energy D. Nuclear energy The correct answer is C. Solar energy Number 11. What is energy conservation? Again, what is energy conservation? The choices are A. Using more energy B. Wasting energy C. Using less energy and using it efficiently D. Creating new energy The correct answer is C. Using less energy and using it efficiently. Number 12. What is the energy stored in food called? Again, what is the energy stored in food called? The choices are A. Mechanical energy B. Chemical energy C. Light energy D. Sound energy The correct answer is B. Chemical energy Number 13. Imagine you have a balloon filled with air. What happens to the air molecules inside the balloon when you put it in the freezer? Again, imagine you have a balloon filled with air. What happens to the air molecules inside the balloon when you put it in the freezer? The choices are A. They disappear B. They speed up and spread out C. They slow down and move closer together. D. They stay the same. The correct answer is C. They slow down and move closer together. Number 14. Why do ice cubes float in water? Again, why do ice cubes float in water? The choices are A. Ice is heavier than water B. Ice is less dense than water C. Ice is the same density as water D. Ice is colder than water The correct answer is B. Ice is less dense than water Almost at the finish line! Just a few more questions to go! Stay focused and use all your science knowledge! You're so close! Number 15. Why are houses in hot climates often painted white? Again, why are houses in hot climates often painted white? The choices are A. To attract more sunlight B. To absorb more sunlight C. To reflect more sunlight and keep the house cooler D. To make the house look pretty. The correct answer is C. To reflect more sunlight and keep the house cooler. Number 16. Why does hot air balloon rise? Again, why does hot air balloon rise? The choices are A. The balloon is filled with helium, which is lighter than air. B. The air inside the balloon is heated, making it less dense and causing it to rise. C. The balloon is pulled up by strings. D. The balloon uses a motor to fly.
The correct answer is B. The air inside the balloon is heated, making it less dense and causing it to rise. Number 17. Why is it important to conserve energy? Again, why is it important to conserve energy? The choices are A. To save money B. To protect the environment C. To reduce our reliance on fossil fuels D. All of the above The correct answer is D. All of the above. Number 18. Why does a metal slide get hot on a sunny day while a plastic slide stays relatively cool? Again, why does a metal slide get hot on a sunny day while a plastic slide stays relatively cool? The choices are A. Metal is always hotter than plastic. B. Metal is a better conductor of heat than plastic. C. Plastic absorbs more heat than metal. D. Plastic reflects more heat than metal. The correct answer is B. Metal is a better conductor of heat than plastic. Number 19. Why does a rolling ball eventually stop? Again. Why does a rolling ball eventually stop? The choices are A. It runs out of energy B. Friction converts its kinetic energy into heat C. Gravity pulls it down D. It gets tired The correct answer is B. Friction converts its kinetic energy into heat. Number 20. Why is it harder to boil water at high altitudes? Again. Why is it harder to boil water at high altitudes? The choices are A. The air pressure is lower, so water boils at a lower temperature. B. The air pressure is higher, so water boils at a higher temperature. C. The air is colder at high altitudes. D. The water is different at high altitudes. The correct answer is A. The air pressure is lower, so water boils at a lower temperature. Congratulations, science wizards! You've completed the quiz! You're officially a science expert! Keep exploring and learning! Like this quiz, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more exciting science challenges! Don't miss our next science quiz! See you soon! Brilliant work! Tell us your score and see how others did! Check out other videos from BrainWise!